Okay, and we'd like to welcome to the stage Ajin Shaheed. Hi, I'm Ajin Shaheed with Santa Unified School District, and it's my pleasure to talk about Mr. Leonard Thompson. He just told me, don't be long, man. I got my little card up here, and uh, because Leonard, it could be long. Leonard, I've known Leonard for about 25 years. Uh, the word community, someone once said, community means come unity. So it's really bringing unity, and it's coming to unity. Leonard is one of the people in the world who brings purpose and meaning to come unity. Leonard is from the neighborhood. He grew up in the Skyline community, if that means he's ain't anybody in this room. And so uh, Leonard uh, uh, comes from an upbringing uh, uh, that gives him special insights uh, uh, into our society here in San Diego. Uh, Leonard was with the ASB program in high school. Leonard raised $350,000 for his ASP program when he was in high school. So he started off showing people what the neighborhood could do. Leonard then went uh, and worked at a law school, a prestigious law school, doing public relations. And then finally he came to Santa Unified School District. The district created a program called the Pupil Advocate Program for the Improvement and Achievement of African American Males. 211 men applied for that position in 1989. Leonard was one of four that was selected from people all over the country and throughout uh, uh, California for that position. So he spent many years into the present working with promising practices and strategies to assist young African American men. All over this city he is known uh, by young men and young women for his effort uh, for his special ability to inspire uh, uh, students. Leonard went to Berkeley and graduated with honors. So from the neighborhood to Berkeley, uh, Leonard did that. Finally, Leonard uh, has really assisted us with something special. It is said that particularly in the black culture uh, that the church has been a major foundation, a rock, uh, a guidance uh, for the struggles of African Americans in American society. Leonard has created, uh, along with his wife and others, Mandate Records. And Mandate Records gives us something good, and that's called gospel music. And all of us who are inspired by the beauty of gospel music, uh, we owe a debt uh, to the Leonards of the world. Uh, to bring us that sweet voice, to bring us that uh, uh, sweet message. If that's not enough, what else has Leonard done? Well, if you like jazz, he's been responsible for the last several years of bringing jazz to San Diego. We don't have to go any place. We don't have to go to Monterey. We don't have to go all over the planet. Right here in Southeast San Diego, he has brought jazz for the last three years. And then he's done the Praise Fest. Now, I'm going to stop because he said don't say any more, but I really could go on. Where are you, Leonard? Come on up, Leonard. And by the way, uh, he owes me $3 million because I introduced him to his wife. <laughs> First, give honor to God, who's truly the head of my life. I struggle with any awards that uh, people want to honor me with because last night I was sitting in the studio, it was about two o'clock in the morning, and I was listening to this young vocalist, and she was pouring her heart out on the song that she had written. And I just began to hear her pain and what she was going through. And before she started her recording, she said, well, you know, I came back from the hospital today and they said that I have cancer. She's 24 years old and she's in the studio still living her dream. I said, how do you feel today? I'm a little bit tired, but that's because I'm training to continue fighting in the ring. And I said, very good. Awards are nice, but it's really belong to the people that we serve. 27 years in Santa Unified School District, 
over 20,000 youth that we work with. And my reward is, is that these young people come back. They work in my restaurant. They work as a part of our record label. They are a part of everything that we do. My attorney is a former student. My accountant, former student. And we keep investing back into our community. But it's not me. What it is is really the people that are around me. To my lovely wife who allows me to work 18 hours a day ever since we've been married for almost 20 years. Thank you, darling. <laughs> to amazing team at Team Mandate, you guys rock with me all over the world and I thank you for your support. And one of the things that is very, very special to me is that I've been doing this for most of my life, been in ministry for almost 35 years. But for the first time, my dad is here with me. Dad, wave your hand so everybody know who you are. And the amazing thing is, is that although my dad and I didn't reconnect until I was 41 years old, when I did connect with him, he knew more about me than I never knew that he knew. And it became very easy for us to continue our relationship because I had great men in my life up until the time that he came back. And you know, someone will say to you, well, well, what happened? Doesn't matter what happened. We're together now, amen. All the investments that we're making in our community, one of the biggest investments and one of the biggest projects that we're involved in now is a movie that we plan to shoot this summer called I Never Heard My Father Speak. And it's a play written by Tamara Hill. And Tamara Hill, Mandate Records and Tamara Hill Plays, is getting ready to take it to the movie. And her husband, her partner, and executive producers in the house today. Stand up, Eddie, I want everybody to see you. Now you, anytime that we get a platform, I have to say this, and that is, is that a lot of times everybody wants to run everywhere else, to Atlanta, to LA, to New York, saying it's happening out there. I will tell you that it's happening right here. And if you want to see the next Tamara Hill pr production go into a movie, we need to invest here. The Tyler Perry's of the world are in San Diego. The Oprah Winfrey's of the world are in San Diego. The next best superstar is right here in San Diego. So let's invest in home first. Amen? Tracy, come here. I wanted to bring you up and I'm going to leave you alone. Come on, Tracy. Tracy and I have known each other since we've been kids. But the one thing about Trace, and I want everybody to know, is that he has a pure heart. Let's stand with this young man. Let's invest in him to the more, so that the next time he's ready to take his young people to a college or whatever, all he has to do is write a check and he doesn't have to fundraise. God bless you, man. Real though. We used to live on Black Oak together on the skyline. <laughs> Quick thing, if y'all don't leave, the 50-50 raffle was $300. And then we're gonna present the other $300 to Miss Crystal Smith for the Sickle Cell San Diego holiday party. <laughs>